Britain is the birthplace of some of the finest sports cars the world has ever known. Today we've come to the UK to drive a car inspired by the past, but planted firmly in the future. It is of course the Subaru BRZ, and though the formula is familiar, this car is truly unique. We've reserved some time at a local track to really test out the BRZ, but first, I've got to get used to these British roads. Wow, so here we are in the UK. My first time behind the wheel of a Subaru BRZ. And yes, it's a left-hand drive car uh, in a place where they drive on the wrong side of the road. And yes, it totally freaks me out whenever I go around a corner and it's Lori! You know, it's great to have a car where you can really rev it high and push it and toss it around and not feel like you're doing 100 miles per hour, like, say, like a Mercedes AMG, for example. Granted, the Subaru BRZ doesn't have much to do with the UK directly. However, it really was inspired by all those great, simple, light, rear-wheel drive sports cars that the British were so well known for. Cars like the little Austin Healy's, the Lotus, MG. Some of these cars were built in this very countryside. The only way to truly test the potential of this car isn't in these little country roads because honestly, British roads are really small. The roads are so narrow and they're, they have these really high brick walls on both sides, so it's like, it's like a, a, a rally course of doom. Eager as I was to get off these roads and onto the closed course, I still had to cross most of Yorkshire before lunch. Cue the montage. We're here in West Yorkshire where we're gonna now test the Subaru BRZ on a hill climb, a right proper English hill climb. Ow, helmet. Now, it's been sprinkling a little bit, so the road's gonna feel a little greasy. So I can't hit it with maximum attack because I don't want to be that guy spinning on the very first lap on my very first try. Oh my God, this car feels awesome. There we go, that's what I was looking at in that corner. I'm not going for speed, I'm going for fun. Maximum fun per liter. Put down that 200 horsepower, 190 foot pounds of torque, which honestly is plenty in this car because it is awesome. I'm going uphill and I'm killing it. That's because the key to the BRZ isn't the horsepower. It's the car's ridiculously low center of gravity and optimal weight distribution. Add in hard, low rolling resistance tires and you have a car that is built for drifting. So can the BRZ make me, Captain Hamfist, into a drifting superstar? Let's see, shall we? The longest single-use motorsport venue in the world is a speed hill climb here in England, which is Shelsley Walsh in the Midlands. 
It was one of the sports that was invented by the motorist, closing local roads and just timing the cars up the hill. It didn't need a circuit to compete on. You were able to start at one point, finish at another, and just the fastest person won. And this still follows today, insofar as the cars themselves are not going to be in physical contact with each other. You are separated away, so you, you, you are driving at your own pace and against yourself at the clock. So if we end up upside down and on fire, it's strictly on us then? It would be entirely on you, but I'm sure that won't happen today. You know, I'm supposed to finish, but um, I don't want to stop. I just want it to go on and on and on. I don't want this day to end. This is like the greatest day in driving history for me. If you in your Subaru, which are very nice, very competitive motor cars, I would think that uh, a climb of round about 70 seconds would be very, very good. I'm not shooting for maximum speed today, but let's toss up a clock nonetheless. Okay, final lap here at the Harewood Speed Hill Climb, which ironically half of it's actually downhill, such as this, but it's a slight downhill. Now, to talk about this car, it is $24,000. Now, to put that in perspective, when I bought my RX-8, that was $32,000. $32,000 significant price difference and honestly I would gladly trade my RX-8 for one of these absolutely this car is much better in every single respect everyone now let's see if I can get a good drifto here A little bit off. It, it, it has an electric steering rack, but it really just feels superb. You don't get that kickback that you get from a hydraulic system, but it still gives you just phenomenal response. Oh, such a nice car. So not only did the Subaru BRZ make me look good attempting to drift the hill climb, it also was the most fun behind the wheel I've had in a long, long time. After driving everything from the Lotus Evora to the Audi R8, you know, sometimes it's easy to become jaded. Yes, on the street, a little more horsepower would be good, but really, it doesn't need much. And though some of the interior plastics are arguably low rent, the shifter and the steering wheel both provide a premium tactile experience. So over three days, we literally drove the BRZ across England, from the Lake District in the north to Brighton in the south. What we discovered was that for $26,000, you simply won't find a car that is more fun and capable, both around town and at the limit, than this Subaru BRZ. All this adds up to a car that is destined to become a new classic.